Saab has announced that a Canadian company will join in an effort to build a future jet fighter for Canada, Ottawa Citizen said. These aerospace companies include Imp Aerospace and Defence, CAE, Paraton Canada and GE Aviation, Saab announced on Monday. Saab offers to supply up to 88 Gripen E warplanes, with support from the Swedish government, for future Canadian new fighter requirements. The warplanes will replace the existing CF-18 Hornet Royal Canadian Air Force Fleet. Requests for Canadian proposals require companies to provide high-quality benefits and technology to the Canadian industry. IMP Aerospace and Defence will contribute with domestic production and service support for the survival of the Canadian Gripen fleet, whereas CAE will provide training and mission system solutions while Paraton Canada will provide maintenance of avionics components and test equipment, repairs and remodeling, and material management. The GE Aviation Company will provide and maintain Canadian Gripen fighter engines, Saab said. JAS-39 Gripen is a Swedish-made fighter aircraft that has the ability to attack missions, land attacks, and reconnaissance. Using the first name JAS which stands for J equals Jack, air tire, A equals attack, attack, and S equals spanning, reconnaissance. With the latest grip and E, F variant that allows this fighter aircraft to be able to fight and defeat future threats. The E series variants are intended for customer countries with more real threats or wider security areas. The E series has a new and more powerful engine improved reach performance in the ability to carry larger payloads. Gripen E also has a new AESA radar, an infrared search and track system, IRST, system, highly sophisticated electronic warfare and a joint communication system with superior situational awareness, making the Gripen E series able to change air power for the 21st century with extensive operational capabilities. In 1978, the Swedish Air Force was in need of a new multi-role fighter aircraft to be operated at the turn of the 20th century. The Swedish Air Force has also examined fighter aircraft made by other countries that already exist, namely the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-18 Super Hornet. After the evaluation process, the Swedish Parliament in June 1982 decided to carry out the JAS-39 Gripen development project until the final test was completed in December 1996. The Swedish Air Force ordered the construction of 204 aircraft units which are divided into three stages. 30 aircraft have finished production in the first phase, while the second phase of surrender is ongoing which consists of 94 units of one crew variants and 14 units of two crew variants. Then in June 1997, the third phase consisting of 64 JAS-39 Gripen units was approved by the Swedish government. JAS-39 Gripen fighter jets offer agility, a sophisticated target shooting acquisition system powerful multi-role radar, modern weaponry, and capabilities in comprehensive electronic warfare EU. This aircraft is also designed to anticipate all threats in the present and future. In 1995, Saab and British Aerospace Bay signed an agreement for joint marketing of JAS-39 Gripen's production. 
This agreement gives Saab access to British Aerospace's global sales network and government support in international marketing. Furthermore, British Aerospace obtained the right to adapt the export version of JAS-39 Gripen using NATO standards. The binding agreement for more than 10 years between the two aerospace companies became the basis for the consolidation between Saab and British Aerospace. This also paved the way for Saab to deepen integration with the European aerospace industry. One important factor in the JAS-39 Gripen fighter jet export variant is the aircraft missile system. JAS-39 Gripen used by the Swedish Air Force is armed with AMIMAM AIM-120 missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinder, Saab Dynamics RBS-15 anti-ship missiles, and Maverick surface attack missiles. Saab Dynamics is collaborating with major missile manufacturers in Europe in the development of new air-to-air -air missiles for use on Eurofighter, Rafale and Gripen fighter jets. The two main projects undertaken are the development of the Meteor missile and the Iris-T. Meteors are medium-range air-to-air -air missiles, 10 to 12 kilometers, whose radar-guided firing. This missile could be a rival to Raytheon AIM-120 MROM. The development of the Meteor missile feature was carried out by Bay Dynamics, Saab Dynamics, Alenia Defesa, Marconi and German LFK. While Iris-T is an air-to-air -air missile guided by infrared the main funding for its development costs is Germany. Other parties involved in developing Iris-T or Bodensee were Gerotechnik and Saab Dynamics. In designing this aircraft Saab chose an unstable canard design. Canards provide high pitch rates and low resistance, allowing the aircraft to fly faster, farther and carry more load. The combination of the delta wing and canard gives grip and better performance in terms of flying and taking off and landing characters. Avionics which is totally integrated makes this aircraft capable of being programmed. This aircraft also has an internal electronic warfare device making it capable of carrying maximum loads without compromising its electronic warfare capabilities. The desired ability to grip from the start was to be able to take off from the runway along the 800 meters. At the beginning of this project, all flights made from the Saab runway at Lynch are being used a reference to a 9 meters times 800 meters size square painted on the runway. The braking distance is also shortened by enlarging the air brake using the surface control to push the plane downward, making the brakes more powerful pressing down, and the next step is turning the canard forward, turning the canard into a large air brake to push the plane down even more. One interesting ability of Gripen is its ability to land on public roads, which is one of Sweden's defense strategies. Once landing, the aircraft can be refueled and armed again in 10 minutes by five ground crews operating from a truck, then Gripen flies back to carry out its mission. For the long term Saab is considering using newer engines such as General Electric F-414 or the thrust vectoring version of Eurofighter Typhoon's EJ-200 engine and additional fuel tanks or extended fuselage for longer mileage. Gripen uses the PSO-5, a pulse Doppler radar, made by Ericsson and GEC Marconi, and is based on Sea Harrier's Blue Vixen radar, which also inspired Eurofighter's captor radar. This radar is able to detect track locations, identify and automatically track multiple targets above and below the aircraft, land and sea air, in all weather conditions.